something that I thought about a lot when I read about it in Nick Bostrom's book uh, Superintelligence. It talks about something called the singleton or a, you could call it an AI god or something, a superior AI that would be able to anticipate it reaches a level of, we call it superintelligence, it's uh, you know, uh, beyond the, the collective intelligence of the humanity and it's also beyond any other AI at the moment, other uh, advanced AI or so. And uh, at that, from that moment on it could um, develop into, you know, step by step into you know, AI singularity or a very, very, very advanced AI that could stop other AIs from develop if it chose to do so. And humanity. It's a, of course a tricky question, but if you look at, at what's happening now, as I mentioned with OpenAI and ChatGPT4 and ChatGPT5 coming and other companies and so on, do you see this development as a risk now? Has it, has it increased and si increased since the last time we, we talked or do you think still it's something maybe uh, we can avoid? It is something we can avoid, but we need to pull ourselves together collectively, humanity, uh, b because uh, avoidance is not going to uh, happen automatically. Uh, we, if, if we lean back and just watch w what happens uh, without um, taking, making conscious interventions, I think that this, this uh, crazy race between the leading um, AI companies is just going to uh, continue and, and and that's not going to end well and there's a lot of mechanisms uh, that that uh, support that conclusion for instance just the fact that the more uh, you are in a hurry to beat uh, your competitors the less time you you have to think about safety and uh, ethics and social consequences uh, and, and such stuff. So the faster this race is going, the uh, less time uh, do these companies have to actually work out the necessary safety and uh, alignment stuff for this to, to, to get a good ending. When comparing the situation now to, to the one in 2021, when last time we had this conversation, I would say that the risk has gone up, but more, more than anything else, it has become more urgent. Mm. I was still in a mindset where I thought that the uh, crucial events that could lead either to a kind of utopia with an aligned superintelligent AI that can solve all the problems or to human destruction. I was still uh, uh, thinking that this is probably at least decades away. Yeah, I no longer think this. That's now right. I worry that that um, uh, relatives uh, of, of of mine who who uh, recently had a baby, that this baby might not even get the chance to grow up to 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 begin school because uh, an AI catastrophe comes between. This is really, really worrying, but that's the kind of the time frame uh, that, that, that we're looking at right now. I cannot tell for sure. I cannot give you an exact uh, timeline because uncertainties are very large, but we can no longer, longer discount the risk that um, the final AI catastrophe happens before the turn of, of the present decade. Kate.